machines. Not like any you've seen before. Machines in here. We'll have to take them out. Right behind you, Aloy. <laughs> There you are. Lead on to the fort. Man against metal. Giving up. So this is a cauldron where machines are born. It looks like one. If the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit you're after is in here? What's Minerva? Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. Another wall. Not going that way. Glowing. I've seen them before. They're like 
an infection. That thing I sent, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called a Festus. Even the mountain is rotted to the roots. Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. something. floor panel. I exposed rotating gears on the pillars. If I shoot them, I can lock the pillars into place. something to weigh this down? Did you find a way across, Aloy? I'm working on it. Put that thing beyond the wall. I think I can get the creep through that shield, but I'll have to go around. <sighs> Can't fit the crate through that opening.
Might be a way across. I can get them into the right position. That's it. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Two pillars this time. Going up there, Aloy. I think I'm getting close. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them.
You'll get him next time. are all over that note. But maybe I can override it. The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here.
Come on over, you two. facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile they used to be part of something good something called Gaia more of those cables covering that door I think we're almost at the core be ready you've got your back
We have to get down there. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. We have to get down there. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down.
We have to get down there. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine. But because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you both can learn this? Let's find out. Mm, I can... Refill my patch with these later. get those overrides before moving on. They might come in handy. Get this 
path from my stash when I need it. Once I hack into the core again, yes. Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. All the data's been collected. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Graduates of Cradle 9, welcome to the regional... Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Immediately. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Okay, Zo. Zo? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. This is what will help heal plane Okay. Song? I it's need hard to find where Minerva's hiding. I barely understand. I should look for a way to access the facility yeah. systems. What Aloy's been looking for this whole time. Locked. be able to pull that open. Honestly, 
needs. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Another part of the facility. Door is locked. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. <laughs> Close. <laughs> if I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? And why did they want it back up? Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. How to reach them. Rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Aha, another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Alert. System core penetrated. I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again, but only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. Will I cease? I think you'll disappear into her. 
Become part of her. Like you used to be. Yes, I This is... Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here it goes. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, so This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good so number of people in to here. Be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss.
Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that... They were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes, that is my conclusion. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. 
Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know, it's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, 
I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zo are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Guess I'll have to do some exploring to find the parts I need. <laughs> you glide in? Honorable paint that. Outlander, face me.
good soldier. the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, I spotted a group of Osram salvagers wandering the edge of the desert near the southwestern border. I'd report it, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms will. Oh, that's kind of you. Don't let like the pretty land use a hand. I can't sell. Keep an eye out for them to come down there. May you walk in the field. We have more. Come back again. <laughs>
sell all you need to succeed. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. Yul, please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yul. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yul said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the Old Growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. 
But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds. Given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. Is something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh the loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find them. Damn fool. Who is this Jax, exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Bit younger than me, can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with, when there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. This must be the old growth. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches.
Seems like someone's in trouble. Watch out for Godfire! Oh. Oh. Okay. Back. Do not let them ah. move. Oh. Oh. They made me. Attack! Oh. Oh. Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone fortifying the pass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. That's all I can do to I keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja Raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakhs taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now.
We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum roof to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known, and so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people, but you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave, head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them winter song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground at my joints on what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. 